Hey guys, Keith with Bulletproof RC. This is my Traxxas 2021 Bronco. And this is a follow-up video to uh, the upgrades I've done to it since I've gotten it. Uh, if you haven't caught up on the uh, previous upgrades, please check out the video series on my channel. And um, this video is pretty much going to be talking about tires. Tires are a pretty important choice for this vehicle simply because uh, the wrong size can create problems. I was running the... Uh, Proline BFG Crawlers, which is a 475 outer di diameter tire, and they scrubbed really bad. And plus, they looked a little bit oversized for this vehicle, so uh, just wasn't happy with that tire choice. Uh, what I went with was the BFG um, all Mud Terrain, the Mud Terrain tires. Let me get the label so I don't talk wrong. Here's your part number, and uh, they're also in the X2 S3 compound, which is somewhere between a Predator and a G8. They're not quite as soft as a Predator compound, but they're a lot softer than the G8. So that gives you an idea of the, where the compound sits. Uh, the lugs are pretty close together, so you're looking at uh, more of a uh, trail tire than a rock tire. However, uh, I do believe these would perform quite well because the outer lugs are pretty far apart. Uh, and they're very realistic to the one-to-one -one tire, which is kind of what I was looking for because, you know, I've got a lot of rigs in my uh, library here, and I've got several that I can take in the aggressive situations, and this is more of a rig that I like to keep to the trail and want to take care of this body that Traxxas went through excruciating detail <laughs> to make realistic. So now uh, when I say that, though, I, you have to notice looking at this vehicle, compared to one-to-one -one, that they made the fender wheels oversized. So uh, you would think a 419 tire would be the, the, the choice for this vehicle, but you put a 419 in there and as wide as these things are, it just looks odd. So I was also looking at other options. You know, there's some several 4.36 tires, inch tires that uh, out of diameter that you could choose from as well. And Proline actually even makes some as well. They, they have a BFG all-terrain. Uh, that wouldn't be a bad choice either. I've seen someone on Instagram using those and it looks pretty good. But I wanted to fill up that fender wheel a little bit more because, you know, in the one-to-one -one world, you don't have a lot of space in between the tire and the fender. So uh, a 4.56 inch is what I decided to go with. I uh, used some uh, wheels I had my uh, parts bin already. These are wheel rings for from uh, IERC. On uh, you can look them up on the web or Instagram, and uh, he makes all kind of RC parts, quality RC parts. So check them out. And these are some old wheels that I had. They were actually clear anodized, and I uh, took them and primed them, painted them, and clear coated them. And I do believe that that will hold up better than anodization. And um, all in all pretty happy with this tire choice let me know what you guys think i know the trx4 is a very capable rig but you know it's kind of a heavy body with a spare on the back and it looks good i got the lights on it everything's rocking and rolling there's no sense in putting this body through road rash a uh, rock rash you know it's more of a trail truck for me and um i think the tires kind of finished everything off quite well but in the comments, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys have found any tire sizes that you like on the Bronco. Uh, I'd be happy to hear what your tire choice is. Uh, this is mine and what I'm going to run on the vehicle. And I'm pretty stinking happy with it. But as always, guys, like and subscribe to Shoe Fits, my friends, and have yourself a great day.